www.alinamonmoon.com Chapter 126 Total of 126 Chapters Book Name The Sign on Moon Has Been Revealed, Islam Will Take Over the World Chapter 126 73 Muslim sects in hellfire except one and Imam Ali name on moon. Almost all Muslims are familiar with the saying of Holy Prophet Muhammad about 73 Muslim sects. It is reported in a hadith with multiple Sunni chains of transmissions that the Prophet said this Muslim nation will divide into 73 sects, all of them will be in hellfire except for one. So which Muslim sect is the right one? Allah has already declared through his holy messenger Muhammad in Sunni books that only Shias are on the right path. Prophet Muhammad said Ali and his Shia will be successful on the day of judgment in Sunni traditions. Great Sunni narrator Ibn Hajj Aw narrates from Ali in Sukal Murika. Holy Prophet said to Ali O Ali, you will come in front of Allah and your Shia will be pleased and liked and your enemies will be tied up in front on him in anger. And then Ali placed his hands behind his head on his neck to demonstrate in the manner his enemies will be tied up. Sunni Book Sawkal Muwaka, page 519. Ibn Hajj records this tradition from Imam Ahmed. Holy Prophet said to Imam Ali are you not pleased with it that you will enter the heaven with me? Hussain and Hussein and our descendants will follow us and our wives will follow our descendants and our Shia will be to the left and right of us. Great Sunni Book Sukal Mu Urka, page 541. The Shia sect is the only sect that has not separated the holy family of the Prophet Muhammad from the Holy Quran. Shias follow the first Imam Ali to the last Imam Mahdi. All Imams belonging to the Holy Family of Prophet Muhammad. All twelve Imams was created before creation of the universe. They have knowledge of everything. Knowing everything the twelve Imams are the right path themselves. Knowledge of everything makes them Allah's guides on earth after the Holy Prophet. They have knowledge of all paths thus they are the ultimate guiders to the right path. The first separation between the Holy Family of Muhammad and the Quran began when those who knew every meaning of Quran and had all its knowledge was set aside by those who had no knowledge. Allah says in Quran 1035. Say is there any of your associates who guides to the truth? Say Allah guides to the truth. Is he then who guides to the truth more worthy to be followed? or he who himself does not go aright unless he is guided. What then is the matter with you, how do you judge? Allah is asking clearly in Quran so is he who guides to the truth more worthy to be followed or he who guides not unless he is guided? It is clear from Quran and normal reason that the one who can guide is more worthy to be followed than he who needs guidance himself. This is the main reason why Alu is asking in Quran 10.35 then, what is the matter with you? How do you judge? And Allah says additionally in Quran 6.116. Most people are such that if you follow them they will lead you away from the right path, because they rely on conjecture only. Conjecture, guesswork, suspicion produces doubt. As a result many leaders made by people produce doubt in the hearts of their followers by saying, Guide me, you do not need to obey me if I go against Allah's commandments, I am like you not better than you, I have multiple defects like you. Sometime I sin continues for a week other times I am like an angel. Who is going to guide whom? Is the leader going to guide Muslim nation or is Muslim nation going to guide the leader or are they going to guide each other? If the Muslim leader makes a mistake then the Muslim nation will guide him and if Muslims make a mistake then the leader is going to guide them. As a result we have a situation where everyone is guiding each other without leadership. 
Does this type of leadership make any sense? Alice says in Quran about conjecture and right path, 6116. Most people are such that if you follow them they will lead you away from the right path, because they rely on conjecture only. It is amazing that the successors of 124,000 infallible prophets are imperfect, fallible and so weak that they needs to be reminded by ordinary people that they should be guided rebuked and disobeyed if they fails as leaders. Was this Allah's plan? A plan in which he gives his religion the religion of Islam in the hand of fallible and doubtful men, so they can extinguish it by proclaiming doubt? Quran 53:28. And surely conjecture does not avail against the truth at all. In other words, uncertainty has no benefit against reality. The Hadith in Sunni and Shia books expressed by the Holy Prophet says, He who dies without recognizing the Imam of the time dies the death of Jahiliya pre-Islamic period. The above Hadith tradition clarifies that the Imam of the time must be such a man that the entire faith of Muslims is dependent on him. The Imam of the time must therefore have absolute knowledge of holy book Quran thus knowledge of everything. He must have an answer to every question asked. If he cannot give an answer then he is the Imam of Jahiliya pre-Islamic period. It is the Imam of the time who gives truth and certainty to believers thus they die as believers. Prominent Sunni historians of Muslim world have quoted Imam Ali as saying Suluni ask me whatever you wish before I am no more among you. Sunni book Sohimo Raika, Ibn Hajar. Imam Ali said ask me before you lose me, by Allah, if you ask me about anything that could happen up to the day of judgment. I will tell you about it. Ask me about the book of Allah, because by Allah there is no Qanic verse that I do not know whether it was revealed during the night or the day, or whether it was revealed on a plain or on a mountain. Sunni Book Al Riyad Al Nadira, Volume 2 p. 198. The Prophetic Tradition from Prophet Muhammad. I am the city of knowledge and Ali is its gate. Mustadrak, Al-Hakim, Volume 3 p. 127. Sunni prophetic tradition I am the city of knowledge and Ali is its gate alone should be sufficient to indicate the Shias are on the right path. It should be evident that Shias follow Imam Ali and his eleven successors and see them all as Allah's chosen ones. All twelve Imams are the right path in their respective ages. They never express lack of guidance, as they themselves are the guidance innocence thus gates to Allah's knowledge. When Shias express Quran Surah 1-6 keep us on the right path they mean it. But there is a great difference between keep us on the right path and show us the right path. The Quran verse is the same but its interpretation is opposite in each creed. Why is the interpretation opposite? The answer is simple the twelve infallible Imams have communicated that the interpretation of Quran Zora 1-6 is keep us on the right path. Shias know with certainty that their twelve infallible Imams are the right path themselves in essence thus Shias follow them when they interpret and explain the unknown Quranic knowledge. Holy Prophet Muhammad said, Certainly I am leaving two weighty things among you the Book of Allah and Ali ibn Abi Talib, and certainly Ali is superior to the Book of Allah because he translates the Book of Allah for you. Booker Shadow Club Vol. 2, p. 378. According to a contradictory belief Allah have no say in making leaders on earth after the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Thus this special contradictory belief says that infallible Allah has given the profession of selecting Allah's leader to fallible men and women with multiple defects. This is done by a process called consensus a collective decision made by fallible men and fallible women with multiple defects who choose a fallible leader with multiple defects.
Leaders chosen by a so-called democratic process are according to their own belief fallible and imperfect, leaders chosen can be faulty, they can commit sins big and small thus they can be replaced from their throne if they are not acceptable. Fallible Muslims have the right to select fallible leaders for the Muslim nation. These fallible leaders are representing sinless infallible prophets. The strange result is that fallible men and fallible women with multiple defects have chosen fallible leaders with multiple defects and made them successors of 124,000 sinless reliable infallible prophets. Holy Prophet Muhammad has clearly expressed over and over again in Sunni books that the twelve Imams after him are the only straight path to salvation. All twelve Imams are sinless reliable infallible chosen before creation of the universe. They are all Ali in essence. The moon is showing Imam Ali's name on its surface thus displaying the straight path, the Shia path the one and only path that leads to salvation. Shias of Imam Ali will certainly be saved all others will surely be forsaken. Allah says in Quran 76 3. Indeed, we guided him to the way, be he grateful or be he ungrateful. Chapter 126. Total of 126 chapters. Ali. Rizvi is author of book titled, The Sign on Moon Has Been Revealed, Islam Will Take Over the World. The book titled, The Sign on Moon Has Been Revealed, Islam Will Take Over the World, can be downloaded from www.alinameonmoon.com.